Developing news right now, this out of Berkeley County, sheriff's deputies are still trying to find out how a woman ended up dead outside of her car. News 2's Riley Benson joins us now live outside the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office. And Riley, you had a chance to speak with people who live in that neighboring area, and they say they were actually not surprised by the news. Why not? Well, Carolyn, the woman, the body of the woman was discovered outside a vehicle on the edge of Brighton Park Boulevard early this morning. Now, neighbors told me they're used to crime nearby, but say nothing like this. My initial reaction was I looked at my um, my fiance and I was like, oh, well, I'm glad I locked the door. And Alex Steyer just lived in an apartment near Brighton Park Boulevard for three months. He says he's had three car break ins since he moved in, but never expected something like this. It kind of caught me off guard. I was confused and trying to figure out, you know, why or what was going on. A woman found dead just blocks away from his home. Now, Steyert says law enforcement patrolling the area isn't enough. He's calling for cameras to be installed at the apartment complex, but so far they haven't. They do regular rounds around the neighborhood, so I, I don't feel like it's necessarily a police issue. I feel like it's more of a you know, complex security issue. The discovery of the woman's body left Brighton Park Boulevard closed for hours as detectives worked the scene. Sheriff Dwayne Lewis says the woman was likely traveling alone, but initial evidence failed to paint a clear picture of what happened. They found the uh, female deceased at the scene here. It appears that she may have been shot, but we don't know all that as of yet. Steyer praises the work of the sheriff's office working to keep the neighborhood safe, but fears it could happen again. I just wish it was enough. For Steyer and his fiance, he's glad they're safe, but says he'll be keeping a closer watch out for any potential crime. It could have, it literally could have happened to anybody. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that we both work from home right now because if either of us had gone to work this morning, it could have just as easily been us. Now, the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office has yet to name a suspect in this case. The coroner has yet to identify the victim or release a cause of death. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers of the Lowcountry. Now reporting live in Berkeley County, Riley Benson, Count on Two.